hello guys so welcome back so in this tutorial we are going to be designing this part I don't have a name for it someone just sent it to me and asked me to make it um, so to start start a new part file and my I don't have a template for metric but I'll just start with inch and we can use that as an opportunity to change our unit so this is another way to learn how to change your unit so um, go into your options and document properties units and you want to change it to millimeter because this drawing is a millimeter and click ok and the first thing we are going to start is with this cylinder and we're going to draw everything back so um, to start I'll just click on sketch and looking at how this cylinder is faced we know we're going to be drawing it on the right plane so click the right plane and I'm just going to draw a circle in here something like that and I'm going to add my dimension and it is going to be 38 diameter and feature extrude I'll extrude it in the other direction because it's going to the back and the distance is 25 so I'm going to make that 25 and click OK so we have that so the next thing we're going to draw is this base on the back because we need that as a reference to draw this um, groove thingy over here so what we need to do is click on the reference geometry another way another opportunity to learn how to create planes so uh, we'll click on plane and if we look at the dimension it says from this face the front face to this face is 101 so that's what we are going to do we'll click on this face reverse the di direction of that plane and it is going to be 101 going back so 101 over there and click OK so now we are going to click that plane select that plane and go into your sketch tab and start a sketch and I'm just going to go normal 2 and we are going to draw a four corner rectangle so four corner rectangle right here so we're just going to draw something like this for now um, we know the height is 45 and um, we know the total the total dim dimension for this length is actually 69 because if you look from here to here is 50 and the rest is 19 so we can just make it that way and just make it 69 so we have that dimension but we still need to constrain it so they also give you that um, from this length to there is 50 so how we can make that is click on this point and put that that point on this line so the point is free to move around so we are going to um, select from here to that point and add the dimension 50 and we also know that that point where that point is is actually on the center line of this circle so what we're going to do now is click that point holding the control key down click the, your origin point on this cylinder and add a vertical relation to it so um, now we have that constraint so another one that we need is um, we know there's a di dimension from the center to the top so from the center to the top is going to be 75 and you can see that right here 75 send that to the top so our sketch is fully defined because it's all black then we're going to go to feature extrude and we are going to extrude it in the other direction and the distance is going to be 10 and click OK and pardon me if I'm going slow I'm just taking my time to explain it because someone did mention in the comment section because some people are still new to SOLIDWORKS so I'm trying to take my time to explain it in a slow way so everyone can understand so if you feel like you are actually more advanced just 
fast forward the video like increase the speed um, just to be able to get through it um, so now we have this moving on I'm just going to hide this plane because I don't need it so I can click on it right click and select the eyeball to hide it and um, the next thing we want to do is draw this feature over here so where we are going to draw that feature is on the right plane the plane going center to this cylinder so click on that plane and sketch and normal two and I'm just going to bring it over here so what we want to do is just draw a line coming here down and coming down we know the distance um, from the edge to that line is 3 so from here to here is 3 and we are just going to click this point and that ori ori um, origin point and add a vertical relation so to do that click that point holding down the control key select that just like how you, you select anything um, in Windows so we have that so the only thing we need to do now is add our radius but the radius over here isn't given but they give you a radius up here which is 25 so since this radius up here is 25 the radius down here wouldn't be 25 so the radius down here how you get this radius is um, so the distance from from that top face to the next level is 10 so you subtract 10 from the 25 so that means the radius at this at this point is going to be 15 and and the next level is 10 so you subtract 10 from that 15 so which means the radio at radius at this lower bottom is going to be 5 and everything is going to make sense once we're done so select your radius change it to 5 your fillet and change this to 5 I mean add a fillet 5 over here and click OK so now watch this so now once we have that lower bottom established we can now click offset we offset this line um, make sure and the first thing we want to do is reverse it in that direction and make sure you have um, select chain selected because if I don't select that it's just going to offset just the line that I click but if I have the chain select chain is going to select uh, offset everything which is what we want in this feature so we have that selected and click OK. Now watch. If I um, just try to check the dimension of this radius, you see it's 15. And that's what I mean. And when we do the next one, you will see that's going to be 25. So what we're going to do is just close off this sketch and close it off over here. And once we have that, we are going to... I think I have an extra sketch over there. I'm just going to delete it because that's probably going to start giving me a problem. Um, so we're going to go to Feature, Extrude. And for the first one, we want to extrude it through all. And we're going to do Direction 2. And we also do through all. So we have something like that. Or we can, let me see if there's a better option. Yes, true all um, is better. So and once we have that click OK good so we have that the next thing we want to do is click on this top face we're going to cut this part out now click on this top face and sketch uh, we're gonna go normal two. and all we want to do is just draw a line from here this point coming up something like that and now we draw a, a three-point arc so click on your three-point arc you want to click on this edge and click on this line and just click the third time just to draw your arc so what we are going to do is click this arc holding down the control key click this line add a tangent relation click this arc and select this edge line over here again add a tangent relation so that sketch is fully defined and we are just going to use the trim tool I'm using trim to closest and trim this part out so what you just need something like that so make sure tangent to this line tangent to that line and I'm just going to close off my sketch again and make sure this is an horizontal line so you should have something like this again I have an extra line over there I'm going to delete it um, so yes yeah, you should have something like this then what we want to do is uh, feature extrude cut 
and this time we are going to select up to next so because we want to trim everything on that side off and click OK good so we have that feature so the next thing we need to do, do now is draw this rib so again we click on the front plane and select sketch um, number two and what another um, feature we can learn now is holding down the control key or before you even do that you don't have to hold it down select convert entity select this line select that line select this edge and select that line and click ok so i have those edges converted so the next thing i'm going to do now is um, select um, offset and i'm going to offset that the distance is 10 i have my chain um, select chain selected but that's okay so we just leave that for now and click ok so once i have that uh, offset watch if i um, check this dimension you see it is 25 just as what is given over here so but for now uh, the only thing we need to do is draw this um, angle over here so what we're going to do is um, and I need to verify something I don't think I added the um, so I'm going to make this and I think I made a mistake somewhere so I just remember I'm gonna go back but before uh, before I do that let's just make this so um, select your three point arc click on this point click on this line and bring it back and click over here and um, select um, this arc and this line and make it tangent select this arc and this line and also make it tangent and that's what no we we are not making it tangent so that's the same mistake I made with the previous one so oh it is tangent so the radius is 25 I was thinking it wasn't but I guess making it tangent does make it 25 so in this case I happen to be right because if we didn't make it tangent I can delete the tangent and try to add the dimension but it turns out um, the dimension is 25 so I'll leave that as driven and I'll just um, increase the units just to make sure it's 25 um, it is 25 so I'll leave it so what we need to do now is trim this part out and um, bring this down and again and I'm going to close the sketch over here I have an extra line delete that and I have a closed sketch so what I'm going to do is go to feature um, extrude and we are going to extrude it by the mid plane and the distance is going to be 10 and click OK and just to verify that I did this um, radius right, I'm going to go back to that feature. So click on this drop down, and which is what I like about SolidWorks because sometimes you make mistakes and you can go back and fix it. In this case, I didn't verify that making those two tangent makes this 30, so I need to verify that. So I'm going to go click on the drop down and edit sketch over here, and let me check the um, dimension for this and it is not 30 so what I need to do is delete my tangent over here because I don't need that so now once I delete that tangent my circle is tangent to this line we want that but to this it's not tangent to this edge so delete the tangent relation to this edge and we are going to fully constrain it by adding the dimension which is 30 so that is what you should have um, this 30 and and once I do that I can just um, exit out of it and everything updates and I still have that and um, I think we should do that for this one so again click on the drop down for that one edit sketch um, I will delete my tangent relation over here and since the dimension is given, I would control it with the dimension. So, 
and here just add my 25 it's still the same but in that case for the other one it wasn't the same so 25 and exit out so good we pretty much almost done and again I am taking longer to because I want to explain this thoroughly um, just for those who are not advanced in SOLIDWORKS so the next thing we need to do is just cut our hole so select this face sketch um, number two and I will draw a circle here at the origin point draw a circle and make that 38 uh, it is not 38 16 and we are going to go to feature extrude cut uh, up to next and click OK and we're going to do the same thing up here select this face um, sketch number two um, draw a circle and from here to here is going to be 18 and from here to here it's going to be 22 and we're going to add our diameter to the circle it's going to be 16 and we have a fully defined sketch feature extrude cut uh, we select up to next so we're cutting it to the back and click OK and there you go we have this part very easy part complicated part but the only part you have to figure out is this rib but um, I hope everything I was able to explain it thoroughly and slow enough for those who are beginners anyway thank you please subscribe and like the video if you like what I'm doing so that way and that way I can always get the feedback from you and please feel free to leave a comment if there is any way I can improve um, these videos please let me know anyway thank you for the for watching and your support as always and I will see you in the next tutorial bye